I'm Jim from Bellevue American Music, and today I would like to show you the PV Feedback Ferret. The Feedback Ferret is a signal processor which identifies and suppresses unwanted feedback from your audio system. The Feedback Ferret does this with two sets of 16 digital notch filters, and this unit can be operated either in stereo or dual mono mode. So, I can either run it in stereo on my main mix, or I can run it in dual mono mode, and I can do two separate monitor mixes with it, or I can use it on my mains and monitor mix if I'm running both of those in mono. One really nice thing about the Feedback Ferret is not only is it made here in the United States, and you know it's going to be a great value and very reliable because it's a PV product, but it also has this handy button on the back which locks out control from the front. So, once I found my 16 frequencies that are causing me problems, I can set that, go around back, lock it out, and now I'm protected from acquiring fingers or people who want to push buttons and find out how things work. So real quick, I'm going to show you what the feedback ferret does. So, currently, I have a microphone plugged into a mixer. The mixer output is plugged into a feedback ferret right here, which I've already set up. And the output of the feedback ferret is going right into this powered speaker, which is about 24 inches from me and this microphone. The mixer is set at unity gain or at zero on the master fader. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the volume down and I'm going to disengage the feedback ferret, which I'm currently using right now and we'll see what kind of difference it makes. Okay, so right now I'm bypassing the feedback ferret. Now that the feedback ferret's bypassed, I'm gonna start bringing this fader up and we're gonna see what happens. So right now I'm at about minus 20, minus 12, about minus 10. Now I'm at minus six on the master. Now I'm getting up to about minus three. Check one, two, three. No. Now I'm starting to get feedback. That's a real problem. Let's see, we're gonna try to bring it back up here a little bit more. Now I'm at about minus six, about minus three. And we have feedback. Real quick, I'm gonna re-engage the feedback ferret and we'll see what kind of difference it makes. First, let's bring it back up here to about minus three where we had it. We were just starting to get a little bit of feedback. Engage the feedback ferret, and right now, I'm talking fairly loudly into the mic, and I'm gonna bring this guy back up a little bit, back up to unity gain. Check one, two, three, four. Let me bring it back down a little bit, and we will disengage the feedback ferret. takes a second because you're definitely going to want to make sure that you've got it turned off. Okay, here we are at minus 10, minus 6, check 1, 2, 3. Right now we're at minus 3, check 1, 2, 3. We can kind of hear the onset of a little bit of feedback there. Just a little bit more, we're just a little bit under unity gain, check, check. Right there's unity gain and you can hear that a feedback starting and I'm just going to real quick re-engage the feedback ferret. And boom, feedback is gone right there. As easy as that. So come on in, check one out today. This is a great unit for houses of worship, um, installs, schools, health clubs, your live rig, great in a jam studio, or even for use at karaoke at home. So come on in and check one out.